What's up, YouTube? All right, I got another battle against uh, Chris. Again, as always, I'm leave the link to his channel in the description. This is another uh, random battle on Pokemon Showdown, and the playing field is a little bit more even than last time. I don't think it's three Ubers. I think I actually get an Uber this match, and you you'll see how it turns out. It's pretty good. This one was much better than the first one, and I hope you guys enjoy. So I lead off with Swanna, right? And he leads off with Crawdon. And I'm going to go straight for this Hurricane. And it does a good amount to the Shellos. And I actually go for another Hurricane. I'm surprised I hit two Hurricanes in a row. That usually doesn't happen. It hits me with a Toxic. And right here, I thought this Ice Beam was going to kill him off. But, and I didn't want to risk missing the Hurricane. But it obviously didn't kill him off. And he's able to recover up. And I try to hit him with another hurricane of hits, but as you can see, his uh, recovery is doing more than my hurricane is taking off. So I got to switch out. I switch out into Cricketune because I know Shellos or Gastrodon tends to be more specially defensive. His Cricketune is offensive with a Swords Dance. So I set up a Swords Dance, hit him with a Bug Bite, and able to Oko that Shellos. Now he sends in Dawn Fan. I'm thinking just stay in, go for this Bug Bite. I'm already at plus two. I don't want to lose it. He just sets up Stealth Rock, and I'm thinking he's probably just going to go for the Ice Shard, and he does, and I go for the Blood Bite, take out this, you know, go for the Brick Break, take out this Dunfan. Fan. So I'm looking pretty good right now, and my Cricketoon faints, and I send in Geodude, hoping to get out, get off some Stealth Rocks, but he sends in Nuzleap. I'm feeling the Grass-type move, so I switch out to Vanillite, but he actually goes for the Nature Power, and it's going to be Earthquake. And he's able to 2 hit KO me after Stealth Rock with that Nature Power. Right here, I'm thinking I can kill him off this Ice Beam, but it doesn't do enough to kill him. He's able to take me out with Foul Play. So right now, we're both down 2. But now I'm down 3 now. So I send in here Powdon. I'm going to kill him off with an Ice Fang, but he actually hits me with an Explosion, gets a critical hit. Probably Mavic kills me off. So I send in Geodude again. And, uh,. Just go for the sucker punch, trying to get off some damage. He hits me with a Giga Drain. So now I send in my MVP, which is Restaurant, hoping I can get this comeback. So I go for the Flame Charge with my Restaurant, I believe. No, I go for the Roost first. I go for the Roost to get back to full health. Then on the next turn, I go for the Flame Charge. As I think he goes for the Nasty Plot. Yeah. He goes for the Nasty Ply, I go for the Flame Charge, trying to get my speed up in hopes to sweep the rest of his team and outspeed them all. So, all these after turn effects, and now I go for the Blue, Fair, the blue Flare on the Simmon Sage, able to take him out. So, here he sends out his Crawl Dunt, and I go straight for the Draco Meteor, and he lives with 3% left, and he goes for a Waterfall, and I think he died from life or recoil, I'm not too sure. So right now he says it Bibarel. And I, I'm not thinking that the blue flare or the dragon the or the Draco Meteor could take him out from full, especially after the the Draco Meteor special attack drop. So I go for the roof trying to stall his life orb damage down to the point where the blue flare could take him out. I'm trying to get him down to about half. So, but he eventually reveals that he has the quick attack and he gets a crit. I don't think the crit actually mattered there. And uh, he's actually to, able to win the match. So, that was a good game. Close 1 0. And hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment, like, all that stuff. I'm out.